Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Shut Door, Door Shutter, coming back here with episode 32 of Sky Factory 1. And today, we are going to be getting on to one of the very last achievements that we have, and that is the 100 drill laser thingy. The laser drill 100 to 1 um, or thing. We're going to try this. I'm not 100% sure if I'm actually doing this right, um, but we're going to try this. We have an area built out here. That all I should really need to do is place all of this stuff correctly. Okay. First off, we're just going to start with these few. Need to make sure we set them correctly here. Okay. And this is going to be a very tedious process, by the way, because we're going to have to rotate almost every single one of these blocks to the right direction. Okay. That should work. Cool. And then down here, we need to place that. And we're going to place, there we go. That is actually not correct. We need to place it up one. And all we need to make sure is that that's facing there. We can take these out. Okay. So we have the first few set, right? And we're actually just going to kind of repeat this, right? So we actually need to set this here. And this one shouldn't be too difficult, but let's actually make sure we're still connecting. Maybe. Okay, these aren't connecting. Hmm, okay, so I don't think I know how to do this then. I thought I had an idea. I might have been wrong. Do I need to do something like this? No, okay, so I can see that this is actually functioning, right? You've got two there. Okay, so this is going to be a weird design, than I, weirder than I thought, right? Because you can see that this is arching and that is arching. So if we do this, break this block here. Okay, that should work. Okay, so now we're going to place one here. Rotate it all the way around. Okay, place one here, rotate it all around. And we should be able to place a few behind this. Okay. We can see that these are set. Let's try one more set back here. Okay, so I think two is all we can do. Alrighty. How do we do this then? Do we, can I set another one down here? No? Alrighty. So we've got to kind of just like work with this and figure out the actual orientation. And actually, it'd be best if I was standing back here. Because the opposite uh, rotation thing is affecting this as well. Okay, so that is working. So if I place these here, will this work as well? Give it a second. Okay. So let's see. So if I place this, this... This, 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 this. I'm not 100% sure how I'm actually would, how I would power these. Uh, because it's kind of hard to get to that middle block. But I think we'll figure this out. I think. Okay. So I can't go any more than that. I don't think. All right. So let's go. Oop. Not fall here. Here. Here, here. Here, here. We're also going to need to figure a way to actually access this area because this is going to be very crowded here. It looks like. Okay. There, 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 and there, and there. Make sure these are all still set. Okay. And I can think we'll do this, 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 this. Uh, let's see. So if I just do this. Okay. Oop, I don't want that. All right. Are these set? I think they have to, like, process once to actually be set, so. All right. Let it process. 
Alrighty. This, this, this. And I think before we close this up, we need to configure it and all that jazz. I think we need to entangle block a lot of this. I think that is probably the best bet to set up like an entangled block system rather than what I was thinking originally. I think I'm going to power it the same way that I was thinking, but I don't think I can actually set it up the way I was thinking now. So we'll have to figure out some entangled blocks uh, while we're here. I don't think I have entangled blocks on auto crafting, do I? But we need like a hundred of these. Okay, let's craft some chests real quick. Okay, let's go for our 192. That sounds good. And we'll do some recipe here. We'll go for a stack. Um, okay, we'll go for that many right now. I know I'll need more in a minute anyway, so... Let's just get this stuff placed, this side, and we'll get this side placed. Okay, I don't know if that's going to be an obstruction. It's not. Okay, that's good. Okay, and then we'll do that. Alrighty, so these should all be active. Oh, come on, I keep right-clicking that one. Okay, so that should all be active. We have 18 more, but that is because we still haven't placed this row. Okay, so the last nine are going to be on this bottom. So what I think I want to do before we actually close this up fully is start entangling these. All right, so let's go, go right here. I'm not going to entangle them here. I'm actually going to like actually entangle these. I'm going to click the blocks and then I'll use the entangle block somewhere else. So let's go here, here, oh, here, 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 here. And I'm just going to do this for every single one of these. And then we're going to move them. Okay. Have my magnet on. All right, let's just destroy them then. Oh, did I not bind that one? Oh crap. Um, let's throw these speed upgrades away for a second into this bag. Alrighty, so under here, we'll go, we'll basically create what we have over there, right? So we have this side Let's just clear out my inventory for a second. Okay. Boom. Boom. All right. So that's our first side. And I think what we'll do is we'll put the next layer. I'm getting hit by those fans. Um, oh, goodness gracious. Maybe I shouldn't have put it here, but that's okay. Anyway, all right, so we'll put the next layer right here, right next to it. Because I want to kind of keep it in the same area, I guess. I really hate the fact that my magnet is so... I can't configure the magnet. That's what irritates me. All right, anyway, let's go for the next layer, which is the actual inside. So we'll place these... Let's just place them right here for right now. All right, and then we'll do this here, this here, this where I am. So I'll actually place that one right here for right now. Okay, go here, go here, go here. This is basically what I'm going to do. So let me get these all done, and I'll be right back with you. All righty, so we've got everything placed now. So let's see here. So I want to set this to diamonds. So I'm actually going to get a few light blue laser lenses. And I'm not 100% sure how you really get lenses. Um, 
because it's not really showing it that well. So let's actually just look up lens. Okay, got black. Hmm. How did I get this? Okay, so just like that, I am blind. All right, uh, let me get, I believe six of those. So what we wanna do, let me actually fly over here real quick. So what we want to do is we want to fill these six blue slots here with uh, these lenses. We could fill them with any one. Each one gives you a different thing. So this would probably give you copper. Um, light blue would definitely give you diamonds. But you also have to set this to a specific range. So I've currently set this to 10. Just because that makes the most sense. Uh, it's a good you know middle ground. You could have like say lapis or cobalt or... There are sapphire, uh, brown lens. You could get ancient debris if you wanted to. Uh, iron ore, black. What does that black give you? Coal, uh, that stuff. Red laser probably give you rubies if you wanted some of those. Some redstone, stuff like that. So, uh, But you just have to keep in mind that each one of these has a specific area. And some actually have like specific biomes. I think they're disabled in this one, but, you know... Just keep that in mind. If you're not getting what you're wanting, that's probably why. Or you're just in the wrong biome, so who knows. Anyway, I'm going to place all of these. I did just decide to put these all in the floor just because it's easier. Um, and actually, one of these is not like the other. Where is it? Okay, so that one's not like the others. Because that is the actual middle piece, which we'll need in a little while. Okay, and we're gonna have like one odd. That's fine, I think. We could probably figure out how to make it not odd, but I'm not going to, it's a hundred. It's kind of a confusing thing. Um, anyway, let me grab the laser lenses and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we've got all six laser lenses. Uh, now we're just gonna go throw them inside of here and we'll start trying to work on getting power to this system, right? So I've also thrown an upgrade into every one of these. You do need every one to have a speed and efficiency. I don't believe they needed processing, so I didn't really bother. Um, but we could actually go for add-on. We could actually go for an efficiency. And probably a processing. So let's grab processing here. Um, got an efficiency. We'll throw these in here. Might as well. Um, and we're actually going to... Put this, this actually might work a little bit since we're off off a little bit here. You can just throw this right here in the middle. We'll need to remember that this one is the most important one. And let's actually grab the generators that I created. I created specific generators, which are the Nether Star Mycelial Generator. If you don't know what these are, well, it's about to get interesting. So basically, these are Nether Star powered generators. They are one of the, if not the best, generator in the game. Um, but they are expensive because they require a nether star to power each one. So we're going to have to work on that. I think I just place these like so. And I think what I want to do first is I want to set up the actual power grid, basically, for these. And we'll just do it like this. Okay. And I'm going to throw... I'll be right back. Alrighty, so what we need to do now is actually start getting an interface. Don't know why I picked those up. Man, I'm really tired of having the magnet on. Keep picking up junk. Let me toss this stuff. There we go. Alright, so what I need to do now is probably get a network receiver and transmitter so I can actually get an interface over here. We actually need a card as well. All right. Let me set this up and I'll be right back. All righty. So right now we're going to add a crafting upgrade into an interface. We're actually going to get a nether star. So what this will do is this will actually send our system into a tizzy because this will start working. Because if we don't have a stack in here at all times, it will freak out. So watch this. Okay. We'll get all 12 in there most likely. 
want. I keep getting launched. Oh, I put it in the wrong thing. Here, let me try this again here. Okay, if I throw that in there, you'll see that we'll have one. So what I actually want to do is I want to have 12 in here. But I don't think I can actually specify. Okay, there we go. So right clicking on it specifies it. And we'll throw 12 in there. And we should see a wither spawn because I had one accidental. So once 12 are not in here, they will be sent out. So now what we need to do is actually grab some item cables. Okay. So we basically need to run these along to get all of this connected. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so once I actually do get launched again here, once I actually do this and this, we should see that I will start getting hit by damage. And that is because these are active. Well, not all of them apparently, but some of them. You can see that we are starting to get that stuff. So let's actually just do round robin, which will mean it'll send it all around rather than just to one. Okay, let's come over here. Let's look at this. How are we doing? So you can see we are giving power, not enough. So what I actually need to do is probably get a few more nether stars in the system before we actually, you know, started this, but that's okay. So you can see that we are getting power. We're kind of struggling, but that's fine. Uh, you can see this has already got a ton of ore inside of it. So let's actually grab a chest here. Uh, let's go for a diamond chest. And what we'll do, we should be able to come over here, set this right here, and this should output, but it's not. Okay, let's try this. Let's do that uh, for a second. Let's get an item cable. Okay, so we'll force out of this with a ultimate upgrade do a chest here you can see that we already have quite a bit of ores coming in such as diamond so that is pretty cool all right you can see this is cruising some of these actually these are all actually fully powered like you can see that all of them have 10 uh 10,000 fe in them so this is probably overkill by the way um just so you guys know Yeah, you can see that only a few of these are running and they're still full power. So we are kind of overkilling this by just a smidgen, which is fine. I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, that's basically the system. This is, I, I do believe this is 100. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure. Yes, this is, this is actually all 100 of these. It's kind of a weird thing because like up here you have 90 and then here you look like you have like a little less because they aren't like a big group but there is 10 here because you have two four six eight nine ten so that's pretty cool and you can see that this thing is actually just cruising look how fast that thing is going that is absolutely nuts oh man see how many diamond ore we have that is that is crazy um and if we actually wanted to we could probably get like a block breaker or something um honestly i don't really know if i want to touch this i might touch it later but i think for right now we're going to go mark the achievement as done we've powered it we've got it going and that's awesome 100 percent, i am okay with that so let's skip all the way to the back of the book here Okay, so filled with two, with tier two speed and efficiency upgrades, we have done that. Okay. Um, I also off camera, I'm, I decided, you know what, I'm going to revert back on a statement I made and I'm going to make the 64k fluid discs. These are all full, except for that one. And the reason is, is um, I have no idea. It is full of sludge. And if I go here, this is a completely different system, by the way. It's not my main system. You can see there's only 63 buckets. But I did attempt to fill this with 64. I have over 64. 
it's just not wanting to work. So I just didn't bother and I called it good. So that's a thing. Um, let's look at this here real quick. So you can see that we are coming down to the line, right? We are, we're getting very, very close to the end. We've got uh, probably about three or four different things to work on, um, such as pig step. Let's actually quickly grab pig step. We don't actually have everything to get pig step. I mean, we do, but we also don't. I just haven't really made all the stuff, I guess. Because if I take these and I take the gold, uh, which are actually sitting in the trophy station, the trophy building, because I did add them, I submitted and kind of just decided to throw them in here. Um, so they are on the wall right here, I do believe. I'm going to steal them for a second. Um, we actually have over 20 plants. Um, I kind of went a little overboard apparently, but that's fine. Let's take this, take that. Do this. And we'll get rid of all the barley we have. Okay, same thing here. Let's get rid of all the eggplants we have. Let's throw in the netherite seeds. I went a little overboard. Actually, I kind of forgot this was running and I let it run for quite a while and never made it stop. So that's why there's so many uh, eggplants and barley and spinach in here. But you know, it's fine. But all right, I'm gonna get this going here. Uh, once I get the netherite, I will be back with you and we'll listen to pig step together. Be right back. All right, so we're gonna listen to pig step. I may or may not have accidentally already put it in the jukebox once, just to just to listen to pig step. Just here. One, two, three, four. Salty, salt factory. It's the place on YouTube that I'd like to be. Salty, salt factory. It's the place on YouTube that I'd like to be. Open up YouTube, salty on my screen. Wasn't Witcher good as I thought it'd be? Wow. Carol, which is Witcher six? Wow. You'll see the clues. Behind the fence, wow. salty, uh -huh. salt factory. Yeah. It's the place on YouTube that I'd like to be. Uh -huh. Salty, salt factory. Okay, well they have changed pig step just a, just a little bit. Um. Well, okay, we uh, will move on. We have listened to pig step. I'm not gonna listen to it all the way. Um. Let's see here. Uh, do I have a pig? I do not. Uh, can I get one? That's a question. Let me get a pig and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I've quickly turned on Hogland. Um... Goodness, they are still loud. Okay. I think. Nope, they are still loud. Anyway, so I've created a hogland farm rather than a pig farm. These will actually produce leather and raw pork chops, so I'm fine with that. Let's grab a force craft yellow furnace here, I believe is what we need. Okay. No, this is not what we need. Okay, let me see what we need then. We need help. What do we need? Um, something with like a grinding core, don't we? How do we get a grinding core? We need a force thing. Man, I really don't want to get into this that far. Goodness. Okay, anyway, let's get into this real quick. Um, okay, so we need a infusion table thing. I have a few force rod here. So we need this which is a, an enchanting table and then this and then a force rod okay what do i do with this so let me get a gem All right that's what i want
Why is that not? Oh, it's because there's a carrot there. I don't know why that is. Anyway, okay, so force craft gems. I'm really not sure how this works. The second requirement. So to get started, the following items are first. The infuser requires power in the form of RF. And yes, we're just going to plop this down here for right now. I'm not really caring too much about where this is located. If it becomes an issue, we can move it. Not that complicated. Okay. And then an upgrade tome. Okay, so we need another book. You can see that's a trend, apparently. And we'll grab our force rod, which I think is back in here. Okay, what do I do with this? So after doing that, to upgrade the tome, you need to acquire force points and complete all infusions in the current tier. Okay, what what is an infusion? All right, what can we infuse? I'm not sure. So, infusions you can start exploring infusions that can be applied, upgrade core. Okay, I'm not 100% sure where this is really going. Tier zero infusions, you make a damage so do I, am I forced to actually use this stuff? Okay, so let me grab a force sword. Do I need one of these? And a force nugget, apparently. And a claw. Do I need to do another force sword? Do I need to literally craft more swords? I really didn't feel like getting into force craft. That's why I never touched it. Okay. Force points. Tier zero. How do I... I thought that would be it, but apparently it's not. So we need a bow and armor. All right, I'm going to do this off camera real quick for this first tier, and I'll be right back. All righty, so I've got to tier two here. I think I have everything I need to make the grinding core. I think this is actually what I need. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure because I've kind of lost track in the last little bit, but that's fine. We also need to pick this up. And we'll just head over here. And we'll go for this, this, and then we'll just do, uh, which direction is that? That is east. Okay. I don't think I have like a way to get coal or anything over here really so let's just do coal let's just do this and the game is lagging because there's probably quite a bit of entities on the ground down below there's not much I can really do about it uh, let's grab an ender chest uh, actually I kind of want to just make a pink one here Uh, let's go for, let's just do this. That's not what I wanted. Let's do this. There's a lot of entities on the ground, I can tell. So apparently every time you break 
the uh, furnace with a core in it. It actually breaks the core. That's uh, awesome. So I have to go make another one. Really don't like that, but you know. Uh, let's get forced to use another thing, right? There we go, grinding core. And we will throw this into the grinder. Instead of actually cooking everything, we will make bacon. All right. Then that bacon can then be transported into a furnace of some sort. I don't really care what kind of furnace. You know what? Let's make this generic. Since I am being forced to use this, I'm going to use a normal furnace. Just to show how much I hate doing this. Okay, let's grab a hopper. Alright. And then we'll throw the hopper I really hate the construction wand sometimes. Like, I, th I think it should have like a shift activation rather than a just scroll. Or wait, actually it is shift, isn't it? Yeah. But whenever I'm like flying, trying to play something, it gets annoying. Maybe there's a configurable hotkey that I don't know about. I need to look into that or something. But, you know, this series is almost over. But if I do use that in the future, definitely be a nice thing to know. But all right, we'll throw that in there. Okay, we'll get rid of the coal in here. And we will then do absolutely nothing with the rest of this. Because we have bacon. That's literally the point of this. Uh, we're done. We can actually just get rid of this as well. And, um, yeah. There we go. Bacon. Woo. I really actually don't like bacon that much. So, yeah. Bacon. It's going to sit here and just because I don't like it, get out of here. Just sacrifice a piece to the void. Alrighty. Anyway, we're actually going to wrap up the episode. And next time we will get into the villagers and the enchanting table and stuff. Um, but I believe that is... Our last two achievements is the enchanting table and the um, other thing. So the create village large enough to spawn iron golems and upgrade your enchanting table. And I think that is it. I think. Oh, use a turtle to automate something. I'm not going to do it. I might do it off camera, but I'm not going to do it on camera. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!